Hey guys, welcome back to another phone charger review. While I'm working on some big projects, there will be some smaller videos in between. And this time it's about the Aki PAT1, a 5 port charger which has one quick charge 2.0 port. I've also tested the PAT15, which is the successor to this one, but with quick charge 3.0. But I didn't make a video about it at that time, and I don't have it anymore, so I'm testing this one today. And uh, I can already tell you, the results will be mostly the same. This charger comes with everything you need in the box. The charger itself, a detachable figure 8 mains cord, and a good micro USB cable. They've also included a little clip and a good manual. Judging from the back, the charger has a very decent rating and should be able to supply around 54 watts in total output power. The design is a compact black box and is well finished, so let's test it. Okay, so this is the Aki PAT1. This should do a lot better than the last charger we reviewed. But let's put it to the test. And I have my AC power meter. Oh wow. The power cord comes with a zip tie included, or on it even. That's nice. So this is the Quick Charge 2 variant. They also have a Quick Charge 3 variant by now. And I'll link both in the description. Uh, I have one of those, I just never tested it. But basically it's the same with a, a little bit updated logic inside. So it doesn't make that much of a difference. Should I should also test comparably. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Idle wattage is a watt. Oh, it's going down. Okay. Let's see what idle wattage does. Well, I get my cables and stuff. Okay. Well, idle wattage of half a watt, that's just fine. It's probably going to go even lower, so... No, 0 0.44, 43, 42, that's fine. Okay. So, connecting up one cable. And one load. Oh, this is the one I used earlier. Let me put that back to... 2 amps. There we go. It's back at 2 amps. And as you can see, the voltage is still 5.01 volt. So that's very well regulated. And it's drawing about 12.48 from the wall for 7. So it's about 75% efficient, something like that. Which is about average. But this charger has uh, five ports, of which one is a quick charge port. So um, let's start filling it up and see when it stops. I can never get these USB cables to go in the right way the first time. Must be my curse or something. Even after all these years. Well, now we have USB-C, so I guess my curse will be lifted somewhere in the next few years. Okay, so that's three 2 amp loads. Ah, ah, uh. So even with three 2 amp loads, the voltage is still 5 volts, so that's good. Uh, let me add another one. Nope. Mm, nope, that was too much. Let me turn this one down and replug it. So this one's now at 1 amp, and this one has no display. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have 2 amps, 2 amps, 2 amps, and 1 amp. So, 7 amps. That's pretty decent. It's drawing 4 to 3 watts from the wall. But I wonder if I connect the fifth one, which is the quick charge port, if that might be a different circuitry, or if it's sharing a single power supply internally. So let's see what happens. 
Uh -huh. So now it's drawing 56 watts from the wall and I have another 2 amp load connected. So when I turn this up 1.3 yeah see it cuts out so let's leave this at 1 amp so the non quick charge circuitry is about 7 amps and well let's turn this all the way up oh, okay it cuts off Okay, and the quick charge circuitry, which is separate, can do another 2.5 amps at 5 volts. And I have to say, voltage is very nice. Everything is still receiving around 5 volts, so that's very good. Okay, so full load, it seems to be able to give you about 60 watts. And um, that's it for part of this video. I'll leave it running for about 10 minutes with this load, with the 60 watt load, or 50 probably in reality. Uh, and then I'll do a thermal video and also make sure to check out my blog post, which will be in the description, which will have uh, some graphs I generate using my, I don't know where I put it, there we go, oh. using my EBD USB. Uh, of a single load, uh, the standard 3 times 5 volts 2 amp test and then the quick charge tests and fully loaded to see how it behaves. But I can already tell from this test that all these are still showing 5 volts 2 amps that basically you can fully load this charger, oh, almost, uh, but in a realistic situation you'll never have a problem charging your device. and. From what I'm used to from these kind of Aki chargers, it'll do fine thermally also and also in the voltage graphs. So this one is, where's the camera? Very much recommended. And uh, as always, I'll have some shopping links which help me out in the description below. And as said, they have a quick charge 2.0 version and a 3.0 version, but both of those are fine. And yeah, I really like the design. It's a nice compact brick, it's sturdy. I like that it has a, a separate power connector, so you can disconnect it when you're transporting it. The ports are spaced okay, and um, it's working well. So, thank you for watching, and uh, if you're considering buying one, check out the links in the description, as I said, and uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Bye-bye.